return to a decades-old tradition despite last year's tragedy. How residents honored their loved ones at the 59th annual Waukesha Christmas Parade. Also ready for a runoff. The nation will be focused on Georgia tomorrow as they vote again for the U.S. Senate. What's at stake? And I'm tracking light rain, light snow, even some freezing drizzle across the area this morning. I'll time out those precipitation as well as when to expect maybe another round of it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Leah Linshine. Happy Monday. Your Monday, though, coming with a winter weather advisory and some weather that might impact your morning commute, particularly if you're in the southwestern corner Yeah, of the Richland state. County, Crawford County, Grant County right now as it comes across. That's the area to be concerned about right now. Not so much for Dane County as a, as a time right now, but you can see there's are counties that are under that right now till about 11 a.m. Still have snow with accumulation, even some ice. Ice has been reported in northern, northern Iowa right now. They've got some slick roads west of Decorah something to keep in mind of where I said so really this morning it's going to be those issues to be concerned about the rest of the day we'll have some light rain right snow reducing visibilities temperatures will be the upper 30 so conditions should improve but yeah we do have that freezing drizzle pocket out there for at least until 11 a.m. for those areas to be concerned with right now temperatures are around freezing or just above in certain areas so we're right at that critical time where we could get some of this especially these temperature sensors are a little bit above the ground so even at surface level it still could be well below freezing too something to keep in mind of right now Radar's not showing. There we go. Got that as we track that across the area. That's the way to be concerned. Dane County, other areas to the east, we'll see some precipitation. I'll time that out and whether that'll be rain or snow a bit later in the broadcast. All right. Greg Barnhart with that first warn. We appreciate it, Greg. A longstanding tradition for the community of Waukesha is making its return to downtown. One year after the deadly Christmas parade attack on that community. Josh Pryder is live in Waukesha this morning with how residents are remembering the lost. Good morning, Josh. Chris and Leah, good morning. I was on this street last year reporting on a very different scene after six people were killed and many others injured after a man drove his SUV down through the Christmas parade tragedy. Now, city officials said that they would not let evil stop them from this decades old tradition and they stuck to their promise. Take a look at the 59th annual Waukesha Christmas parade returning to the streets of downtown last night. Hundreds of people were here for it, including Paige and Jennifer. Jennifer Allen. Jennifer was working at the hospital last year when the attack happened. This year, she's here to support first responders. We want them to remember what happened and those that went through the trauma specifically, we're here to support them. We, we want to still say that, even though, it, like you were saying, it's part of the closure, but we don't ever want them to forget that when they reach out, we're here. In October, Daryl Brooks was given six consecutive life sentences and more than 700 additional years in prison for driving his SUV into the parade crowd. His case was not the focus of last night. Right now, the community of Waukesha is focusing on healing and moving forward. Guys. Josh Breider reporting for us this morning from Waukesha one year later. Thank you very much, Josh. Part of last night's parade included the Milwaukee Dancing Grannies who lost four team members last year. That includes 79-year-old Virginia Ginny Sorensen, who dancers say always encouraged the team to perform. We marched to honor not only our four, um, but all six people who were lost. And I'm sure we will be laughing. I'm sure there's parts of the parades we're going to be crying for. Um, and um, it, it's all good. It's all part of it. The troop was welcomed back with cheers and standing ovations from the crowd. Brooks, meanwhile, is appealing the verdict in his case. He filed that motion last week, and we, of course, will continue to bring the latest on that story. Just keep following along on Channel3000.com and the Channel3000 mobile app. An East High student facing felony charges of sexual assault will be back in court this morning. 17-year-old Babakar Nyang is accused of strangling and assaulting a girl at a homecoming house party last fall. Days after the alleged incident, students at East High staged a walkout in support of the victim. The school district later reassigned the principal there after students protested his handling of the situation. Nyang, meanwhile, is scheduled to be in court this morning for a pretrial conference. The last undecided Senate race of the midterm will be determined in a runoff Tuesday in Georgia. Tomorrow, Democratic incumbent Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker are facing off. More than 1.8 million ballots have already been cast in early voting. This past Friday, marking the largest 
single day of early voting ever in the state. Both candidates on the campaign trail hit it hard over the weekend. Warnock with former President Obama and Walker joining Tim Scott of South Carolina. You deserve a senator you can be proud of. Somebody who will talk straight to you. Georgia needs Herschel Walker. While Democrats already have a guaranteed control of the Senate, a Warnock win would give them a little bit more leverage in deciding the makeup of key committees in the new session. President Biden's plan to shake up the Democrats' primary calendar in 2024, drawing some new scrutiny this morning. The idea is to replace Iowa with South Carolina as the critical first contest to launch the Democratic nominating process for president. A Democratic National Committee panel voted in favor of the calendar shuffle. It would also include New Hampshire, Nevada, Georgia, and and Michigan as early states. Supporters say the changes are an effort to expand racial and geographic diversity. Iowa uh, is not as reflective of the, democ of the uh, uh, demographics of this country uh, as uh, uh, South Carolina is. And when you look at South Carolina, it is a microcosm of this country. I feel that Democrats have really given middle America the middle finger. The RNC has already voted to keep Iowa first in the nation, a tradition they've held since 1972. As far as the DNC changes, states and the full committee still have to weigh in early next year to approve it. In China this morning, the crackdown on COVID appears to be easing. Residents angry with the country's zero COVID restrictions have been taking to the streets, often clashing with police. Now some cities are unilaterally easing those restrictions, including the industrial city of Gangzhou. The government was asked whether it will change the policy at the foreign ministry's media briefing. Listen. Frustration uh, with the uh, zero COVID policy. Is China considering ending it soon? And if so, when? Chinese officials did not answer the question. There still doesn't appear to be a countrywide agreement, though, on a change in COVID policy. But China's state council just announced a new push on vaccinations for the elderly. Currently, less than half of people over the age of 80 have had their booster. Lava flowing from the world's largest active volcano in Hawaii is edging closer to the Big Island's main highway. Take a look at this video from the U.S. Geological Survey. Lava from Mauna Loa during an eruption last night. As of Friday, lava flow was just over three miles from the main highway. It could reach the roadway sometime this week. 607 now. Don't count the Packers out just yet. Green Bay has won three of their last four games to Soldier Field in Chicago yesterday afternoon for the one millionth meeting between these two teams. Just kidding, it's the 206th. First quarter, Bears the ball up three. Justin Fields, he'll take it 55 yards for the score. Chicago up 10 nothing at that point. Second quarter, Fields, he's going to toss it to a former Packer. Equinity to St. Brown. Bears would score from there. Time winding down in the half. Rodgers drops back. He's going to find Christian Watson for the 14-yard score. So Packers go to the half down six. Fourth quarter now, A.J. Dillon. He's going to power it through, 21 yards for the score. Packed down just two at this point. Packers then take the lead uh, after a failed touchdown pass from Rodgers. Mason Crosby, good there. So the Packers take a, a late lead, 20 to 19, and then they'll score again. Here's Christian Watson on the end around. He's going to take it all the way in, fly in for the score. 28 to 19, your final from Soldier Field. The Packers eliminate any shot the Bears have now at making the playoffs. We'll have more on the game coming up in a few minutes. With UW's bowl game falling just a few days after Christmas, Badger fans looking to travel to Arizona for it may need to shell out some extra cash. Our Andrew Branstad breaks down the affordability of getting those fans to Phoenix. There is some good news, though. There is a direct flight from Madison to Phoenix, but there's also a lot of bad news. Flights are filling fast and prices are climbing by the minute. Prices do fluctuate a little bit depending on when you leave out of the airport and which airport you fly out of. With the bowl game on the 27th, we'll show you prices for flights leaving the day after Christmas and returning on the 28th. You can fly nonstop out of American Airlines out of Madison, but you'll have to reach a little bit deeper into your pockets for it. There are two daily flights, both going for more than $1,000 right now. Now flipping over to Milwaukee, you'll have more options out of Milwaukee 
And you'll only save a little bit, though. If you choose to connect through another airport, you might save a little more. Spirit and American Airlines have round-trip fares for between six and eight hundred dollars if you don't mind a layover. A little bit more of a headache, but Chicago's O'Hare and Midway airports provide the most options at the best rates, especially on a low-budget carrier like Spirit and Frontier. They both have non-stop flights to Phoenix for between five and six hundred dollars, and that's the non-stop option. The moral of the story, if you're going to buy tickets, do it sooner than later. We want to emphasize these prices are changing constantly and come from a Google Flights check from this afternoon. Prices have already nearly doubled since the game was announced. Our Andrew Banstra reporting for us this morning. Coming up in just a few minutes, a look ahead to the Badgers Bowl game, including their opponent and who will be coaching the team in Phoenix. That's ahead in sports. Also ahead, a decade-long holiday tradition in Monona now in the books. We'll take you to the Little Badger sale. And a big announcement from Badger quarterback Graham Mertz. What it means for the future of the team. Our biggest sale of the year is held over. So there's still time to get Black Friday deals during our huge Thanksgiving sale held over at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible prices, plus get 30% off on top of that store-wide at Slumberland. Garage doors are just like us. They don't like the cold weather. But if it breaks, Precision Garage Door is always ready. We always show up in a fully stocked vehicle so we can get the job done today. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Never have I ever toured in a rock band. Yep, I play a mean air guitar. Never have I ever burnt a holiday dinner. <laughs> I have no reservations about making reservations. Never have I ever put literally every single item in our store on sale, even the items that never go on sale. Every item? Oh, come on. Join us now through December 24th for our never on sale sale. Only at Rogers and Holland's. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. When I had stubborn fat, I always felt self-conscious. I couldn't wear the clothes I wanted to wear and it was so frustrating. I worked so hard by working out, by dieting. That stubborn fat was just not going anywhere. I had this vision of how I wanted to look. I didn't feel like myself, so I did what I needed to do. I called Sonobello. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist because it works. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently. Sonobello removed this big pooch right here. I have curves. I have exactly the body I've always wanted. I got myself back, my shape back, but most of all, my confidence back. I lost four inches off my waist. Going to Sonobello has completely changed my life. Just look at me. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-510-6198 or go to Sonobello.com. Ready, Dad? All charged up. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright with a special offer on select Ford vehicles. Choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. So much. And that's how Ford is helping you I'm proud of you, kid. shine bright. <laughs> this season, choose FlexBuy on a 2022 Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% financing for 66 months at your local Ford dealer and shine bright. Look at mattresses. <laughs> Buying a mattress can be uncomfortable. That's why Slumberland has modernized the process. Right now, get 30% off select mattresses, like this Sealy Posturepedic mattress for $5.99. Slumberland, mattress shopping reinvented. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back. This weekend, the Monona Community Center was filled with toys, books, and children's clothes for the Little Badger consignment sale. The event started 10 years ago when Jen Orshik realized many toys and clothes her daughter had collected over the years were just sitting around. She decided to recycle them with the help of other moms in Monona. Now this event takes place three times a year. The mission here is to help both the community and the planet. It continues to go on, right? Um, and I also just think sustainably, like it's less that are in our landfills, it's less that we're throwing away in the trash, um, and that's always a good thing. 
A portion of the sales proceeds will go toward the Monona Sports and Recreation Youth Scholarship Fund. Consigners can also donate any leftover items to whatever local nonprofit they'd like. The next sale will take place, by the way, in mid-April. I know Chris is putting that on his calendar. Yeah, we got a few crates that I would just gladly hand over. I don't know if my wife would agree with that, but yeah, lots of uh, old baby stuff. Hey, I'll take some of that. A lot of girl stuff. A lot. Hmm. Got a lot of... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> we got to move on. Greg Barnhart, take yep. it over. Yeah, we got uh, some active weather going on, especially today, tomorrow, and even Thursday, and it could continue for a while, too. So that's what we're confident. We'll have some light rain, snow mix today. Freezing drizzle is more of an issue this morning. Some minor impacts. It'll be wet Thursday, Thursday night, and then we might have a system. Looks like more Sunday and on. Saturday actually looks better, at least with the current trends, but something to keep in mind. What we don't know is a lot of the precipitation types that go along with Thursday, today, or even this weekend, and if there's any snow accumulation, especially Thursday night, or next weekend, so a lot of that still has to be ironed out. But we are in an active pattern. And it starts with today, we do have that one front coming through. We're gonna have light rain, light snow, pockets of freezing drizzle this morning. It'll turn more into light rain, light snow this afternoon. That one passes through quickly. We'll have kind of a clear sky overnight, and then you'll watch the next one come through by tomorrow morning. Late tomorrow morning, you can see it just starting to spread across here. And then to the afternoon, we'll have some light snow or light rain, depending on temperature and where you're at. Probably not a big deal, but still could be some wet roads out there. Should not accumulate for any issues. And then more range go further south. We'll have a break Wednesday, and then we come that next big system maybe by Thursday. So today right now we have that precipitation this morning. Once we get rid of the, the freezing drizzle when the temperatures warm up, we'll have more of a light rain, light snow as it spreads across, mainly north of Madison, that little line. And areas to the south may just see cloud cover today, upper 30s, pretty much for the high this afternoon, this evening. We'll start clearing out a little bit, get back down in the 20s, and then watch that next one come up late tomorrow morning. After morning commute, we'll start seeing the clouds increase again, and then some light snow, and then maybe more of a band towards late in the morning you can see spread across the area. Once again, accumulations won't be really significant with this, especially you see the temperatures or by that time in the mid to upper 30s. So most of the roads will be wet if any snow falls. You may even see a transition to some light rain, some of the areas too tomorrow. So we still got some areas come through. Dew points right now are pretty low. And that's kind of the indication that even if your temperature is 33, once it starts raining or snowing, it may cool down a little bit to get to that 100% relative humidity. That's how you can get some rain, snow, freezing rain, even if your temperature is 33 or 34 out at that time. So something to keep in mind of this morning. We have a nice day coming up Wednesday with upper 30s. There's that system Thursday, Friday that does look wet. How much snow is kind of in question. And then we have more systems or more activity coming next weekend through early next week too. But a lot of question marks on that. So the good news is no cold air, as Boy. you can see throughout the whole 10 day forecast. Certainly an active pattern though. Greg Barnhart with your first warrant. Thank you, Greg. Once again, buzzing on a Sunday, Graham Mertz officially announced on Twitter that he is entering the transfer portal. Mertz has been the Badgers starting quarterback since the 2020 season. In his post, Mertz says, quote, I am grateful for my time as a Badger. My time in Madison has taught me lessons that go far beyond the football field. He goes on to thank Coach Christ, Coach Ingram, Keller Christ, as well as other coaches on staff for helping make his dreams come true. Mertz also expresses gratitude for his teammates and everything they've gone through. Mertz enters the portal with two years of eligibility left. This season, he completed just over 57% of his passes with 19 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. He finished his career as a Badger with over 5,000 yards and 38 scores. UW's new head football coach, Luke Fickle, talked about Mertz's entering the portal on Sunday, saying he had lots of conversations with the QB as well as his family. It's a tough situation, and he knows that. And you know, we want nothing more than the best for him. I, I, obviously, I can't tell you I know him, but I've met with him a few times. And I encourage him to stick around here and, and wait and see how the changes go. But, you know, I think at some point in time, some of those guys feel like there's, there's something that they need to do. I don't want that. You know, that, that's not what I encouraged him to do. Uh, but I also respect that. His news came just a couple hours after the Badgers learned they're heading to Arizona for the guaranteed rate bowl game where they will face Oklahoma State for the first time ever. Also marks the second time in program history that UW will take on an active Big 12 opponent. As for who's going to be calling the shots on December 27th, here's what Fickle had to say. I mean, I'm going to be there and I'm going to be a part of the staff to coach the game. I envision myself being the head coach, but if that means I'm you know, coaching the punters, I'm coaching the kickers, I, I, I don't know. Um, 
I just want to be around the guys. I know this has maybe not been done before, maybe unique and, and a new coach in some ways coaching the bowl game. Um, but I think it's really important. I think it's important for us. I think it's important for us to move forward. There's only one way to keep guys. There's only one way to build the program, and it starts with relationships. When asked about Jim Leonard and his future with the program, Fickle said that he sat down with Leonard a few times, opened the door for him to be here at Wisconsin, adding there's no rush for an answer. The oldest rivalry in the NFL was renewed on Sunday in Chicago as the Packers took on their NFC North rival. The Pack had won seven straight over the Bears, and whoever came out of the game with a win became the all-time winningest franchise. So bragging rights on the line as Aaron Rodgers battles not one, but two injuries. And if you're a Packers fan, this game did not disappoint. Late fourth quarter, they're down by two. Rodgers and company aren't able to get a touchdown, so they settle for a field goal. Mason Crosby puts them on top with a 32-yarder, and the Bears get the ball back with just a few minutes to go. When Jair Alexander comes up clutch, he picks off Justin Fields, and the Packers' offense capitalizes with a Christian Watson score. That's his second of the game. The Packers snap the two-game skid, win it 28-19, and despite being banged up, Rodgers threw for 182 yards and a touchdown. The line played really good today. Um, I moved around a decent amount, held on the ball times. And I went to the ground one time. So that's like a dream game for somebody in my position with a you know, pretty sore rib cage. Um, I mean, I feel good going to bye week uh, that, uh, you know, maybe both these things will be behind me. Packers are now 5-8 and eight on the season and head into their official bye week before returning to action against the Rams for Monday Night Football on the 19th. Jordan Reed reporting there. Coming up next, a reminder to spread some kindness this holiday season. And in our next half hour, the officer at the center of the Tony Robinson case back in the spotlight today. Why that case is garnering new attention. This portion of News 3 Now is sponsored by RG Heating and Air Conditioning. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name is Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. McGann Furniture and Flooring has a question for you. Do you have a hard time sleeping comfortably through the night? Is your mattress 10 years old or even older? Chances are you're due for a new one. Mattress technology has changed a lot in the last 10 years. Our experienced staff will help you find the right style, construction, and firmness that will give you years of sleeping comfort. And remember, we don't raise prices only to lower them later for a sale. With delivery and disposal of your old set, we make it easy to have the bed of your dreams at McGann Furniture and Flooring, downtown Baraboo. The new Subway Series menu, the greatest sandwich roster ever assembled. For more on the new boss, here's Patrick Mahomes. Incredible. Meatballs, fresh mozzarella, and pepperoni. Oh, the meatball's out. I thought he never fumbles. The new Subway Series. What's your pick? Oh, oh, mm -mm. It's Santa. We got a problem. Hold on. the touch of a finger, a mood can change, turning an ordinary day into a special moment. Let Lutron create the perfect lighting for any activity with advanced technology for superior dimming because life happens between on and off. Lutron LED Plus dimmers install in 15 minutes or less and work in homes of all ages. Enhance any decor with a variety of different Lutron dimmers and colors. Find the right dimmer for you with Lutron LED Plus at Menards. You can get any phone you want. Anyone I want? Any phone you want. Connection is the greatest gift of all. At U.S. Cellular, we're offering any phone free for new and current customers, plus $100 to spend on accessories. Hi, I'm Tim O'Brien, owner of The Healthy Place. I'm excited to tell you about our new Wild Theory CBD products that will get you high fives from everyone you know. Wild Theory's new groundbreaking formula has higher levels of the good stuff and it packs surprising results. Is it legal in Wisconsin? Of course! Is it potent? You bet. Will you love it? I'm sure of it. Stop by one of our Madison locations or visit findyourhealthyplace.com, type in high five and our website will hook you up. 
Cobeson Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobeson, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit Cobeson.com to apply. Welcome back. We always ask you to share your morning with us. Susan sending in a stunner. I think this is right off Verona Road in Madison. So nice. We had to show it twice. Oh, we've seen this so before. See this. this is a very nice shot, though. I think we uh, talked about this Thursday or Friday. Heck. Well, uh, I didn't get to see it. But yeah, so uh, that that's what happened. So uh, this is a, a beautiful shot that we aired last week that you missed that I wanted you to see. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, really I, cheers me up. I don't like you missing out. Oh. I, I really don't. So thoughtful. We had so many people uh, I message uh, making sure that, uh, that they were curious to know whether you were having the baby or not. Oh, when you were thank you, you folks, for thinking of me. I will let you know I'm hoping to uh, give myself a couple of days before the due date, so I am hoping to um, say goodbye, but we'll see if that's what the little guy has in store. Well, I'm cherishing every day we got left with you before oh. you go on maternity. <laughs> so <laughs> sweet. Hey, here's a reminder to do something nice for someone this holiday season. You know, a lot of folks are working you know, hard, yeah. quite frankly, including delivery drivers. A uh, family in Louisville, Kentucky leaves out snacks and refreshments for them. They got a nice, mm. a nice uh, selection here, Spread. Leah. What do you, so this, I'm gonna get uh, Leah's expert snack rating on this. Oh, you know, I have series. an so opinion. So they've got uh, Lay's and Doritos and Pringles and uh, Capri Suns, bottles of soda, bottles of water. I mean, this is a pretty good spread here. Look how ecstatic he is. I gotta say, going with the with the Pringles, that's premium. Yeah, it is. Good. So do something nice for those folks working hard for you this holiday, would you folks? Or send me some Pringles. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have that bus stop forecast when we come back, and we're gonna keep tracking uh, this wintery mess that's moving across the viewing area. We're back right after this. <laughs> News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Go farther with personal checking choices. At Starion Bank, you make the decisions. Your money, your style. Apply online in just four minutes at StarionBank.com. Hi V Red Hot Deals are super hot. This Monday through Thursday, Lay's, Kettle Cooked, or Rolled Gold, two for only $5. Avocados, only 59 cents each. And Hy V Pasta, only 77 cents. Scan the code, get deals, only at Hy V. There's something new from Better Than Bullion. Introducing the Culinary Collection, chef created flavor combinations like smoky chipotle and Italian herb that add a little something special to your family favorites. But don't take our word for it. Mwah. The Culinary Collection from Better Than Bullion. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. I'm craving something we're missing. The Ceramides and V. They help restore my natural barrier so I can lock in moisture. We've got to have each other's backs. CeraVe, now the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. I've got a secret. I did all of my holiday shopping in one place. Do you want to know where? At the Bruce Company in Middleton. I found Bagolini purses for mom, Frasier fur candles, my sister's favorite, earrings for me, even Weber grill accessories for dad, and their holiday showroom. It's a wonderland. So this season, check out the Bruce Company, my holiday happy place. To everyone who loves great food, let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each butter burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, and the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. <laughs> from Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Hi, I'm Gary Canulty, inviting you on a holiday vacations tour. Join me May 2nd through the 12th as we tour Scotland and Northern Ireland. This trip is rich with history, exploring places like the Edinburgh Castle and the Titanic Belfast Museum. We'll also enjoy the gorgeous scenery and friendly people of these two unique countries. Visit HolidayVacations.com, keyword WISC, for more information and to watch a travel show. Or call 888-557-1020 for a free brochure. Visit HolidayVacations.com, keyword WISC, for more information.
hy V Red Hot Deals are super hot. This Monday through Thursday, 8-ounce pork chops, four for only $5. Little Debbie Snacks or Sunbelt Bakery Granola Bars, only $2.88. And a 12-pack of ramen noodles, only $2.49. Only at hy V. Go farther with personal checking choices at Starion Bank. Like smart checking, it's free when you choose e-statements. Your money, your style. Apply online in just four minutes at StarionBank.com. It was one of the most high-profile cases in recent Madison history. Today, the family of Tony Robinson will be back in court. Plus, one year after tragedy struck this community, we're live in Waukesha for the return of the Christmas parade. And I'm tracking some light rain, snow, even pockets of freezing drizzle as it passes through the area this morning. I'll track out when the ducks will end, and maybe we'll see another round come tomorrow morning. Good Monday morning, everyone. Hope you had a great weekend. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Leah Lynchheim. Happy Monday. Your Monday is coming with a side of some kind of rain and possible flurries, especially yeah, if you're down it? in what, the yeah, southwest. It's a little yeah. bit active. Yeah, we do have a little bit of a front coming through, so there is some precipitation with it. But the thing is, a lot of areas to the east are kind of dry, so one of this is not actually reaching the ground until you get to far southwestern Wisconsin, even Iowa right now. But that's where we have a winter advisory going on right now for the light rain, light snow, and then pockets of freezing drizzle. They've had some ice reported in northern Iowa, even west of Decorah, some road issues there going on. So once we get out of the 11 a.m. time frame, we should be out of this too. As you see, radar is starting to spread eastward across the area. Radar is starting to change that over to some mixed precipitation. As you closer up, a lot of this isn't reaching the ground over here, just cloud cover, but once you get further west, that is starting to reach the ground. So you see the temperatures are right around freezing over there, so that's where we could see some trouble issues if you're traveling. Not much to go further east right now. We'll see some precipitation come eastward this afternoon or late this morning, but by that time, the temperatures should be at least in the mid to upper 30s. It'll be daytime, so we're not going to see much of an impact once it gets towards Dane County, but areas to the west or something to think of mind. If you're driving about, like I said, it's going to be this morning that we're going to have that mix. Then we'll have more light rain, light snow this afternoon, sprinkles, and I'll track out another chance for some snow tomorrow, as well as we might see a more significant system come Thursday a bit later in the broadcast. All right, thanks, Greg. A sensitive case for the Madison community will be back in the spotlight today. The family of Tony Robinson is pushing once again for the officer who killed him to be charged. Our Shane Hogan is here with what we can expect today. Good morning, Shane. Hey, good morning, Leah. That's right. The grandmother of Tony Robinson and seven lawyers will be in court today for a hearing that could lead to charges in his 2015 death. Seven years ago, District Attorney Ishmael Ozan determined Robinson since death to be the result of lawful use of deadly police force. Now the group is relying on Wisconsin's John Doe law, which allows a judge to pursue charges if the DA refuses or is unable. They are asking Judge Juan Colas to reconsider probable cause for reckless homicide. These are unusual uh, proceedings. There really are not many cases involving this. One of the questions I'm open to hearing about is whether the rules of evidence apply at all. In two legal documents, Officer Kenny, who killed Robinson, has retracted some of his statements from his initial accounts, and forensic scientists have said his statements are inconsistent with what they found. The hearing is scheduled for 8.30 later this morning. We do plan on live streaming it here on channel3000.com and you can follow along on Channel 3000 Plus as well. Shane Hogan reporting for us in studio this morning. Shane, thank you. To other top headlines today, Fitchburg police are investigating an afternoon shooting. It happened near Fish Hatchery Road. Yesterday, they got a call of shots fired that sent officers to the 2400 block of Post Road where police recovered at least one bullet. An investigation determined a large group of people were fighting in the area just before that gun was fired. So far, no arrests have been made. Anyone with information has asked to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers at 266-6014. One person is hurt, another arrested after an overnight stabbing near the UW campus this weekend. Madison police say it took place just after 2 a.m. Sunday on North Francis Street. It started with a fight that broke out between three people. UW police sending an overnight campus alert to students in the area of the East Campus Mall to lock down. Another campus alert about an hour later lifted that lockdown, announcing a suspect had been arrested. One person, again, injured after being stabbed with a knife during that fight. That person is expected to be okay. Officers have also recovered the weapon that was used. 
It's just about 634, more than a year after a man drove his SUV into the Waukesha Parade and killed six. The community isn't letting that tragedy end their holiday tradition. Josh Breider is live in Waukesha this morning with how folks there are honoring those lost in this year's Christmas parade. Josh. Chris and Leah, good morning. A much different scene this year compared to last year when I was standing on this very street. The streets of Waukesha are quieter this year as that long-standing tradition returned last night with some changes this time around. The 59th Annual Waukesha Christmas Parade returned to the streets of downtown last night. Hundreds of people were here for it, including Paige and Jennifer Allen. They're part of a Girl Scout troop focusing on supporting one branch of first responders. We're both first responders, so Bonnie, the other troop leader, was here triaging patients and then letting me know as I was up at the hospital, helping triage patients to get them to freighter, to get them to children's, so that the community worked together to help care for the victims. Part of the Christmas parade included the Milwaukee Dancing Grannies who lost four team members last year. They were able to return this year for an emotional return. Now this community is now focused on moving forward. You'll see blue lights throughout the entire community, including right here behind me. That blue light is in signifying of unity, guys. Boy, one year later, your heart still aches for that community. It does. Josh Breider, live in Waukesha this morning. Thanks, Josh. A uh, chimney fire in Maple Bluff briefly forced a family out of their home Sunday night. Yeah, at one point, flames could be seen coming from the top of the home's chimney. Take a look here. It reportedly caused nearly $2,000 worth of damage. Not horrible. Still a scary situation there. Now, fire officials are reminding homeowners to clear chimneys and have them checked once a year to avoid the buildup of flammable material. Overseas, millions of Ukrainians face a winter of extreme hardship as Russia intensifies attacks on the country's energy infrastructure. The southern Ukrainian city of Kherson was heavily shelled Saturday night, causing intense fires. The region was retaken just weeks after Russia unlawfully annexed it, but those that remain now rely on warming stations to escape the cold. During an interview with 60 Minutes last night, French President Emmanuel Macron says he is united with President Biden in their continued support of Ukraine. I think it's extremely important that all of us, meaning European, Americans, and the maximum number of countries in this world do support Ukraine. It's clear that Russia, and especially President Putin, decided to weaponize at least energy and food, creating a lot of uh, shortages, volatility, and inflation. A leaked Kremlin poll, meanwhile, has found more than half of Russians want peace talks with Ukraine. President Macron says he will continue his conversations with Putin to encourage peace. In North Carolina this morning, crews are working to restore power to nearly 40,000 households. It's happening in the Moore County area. They have been in the dark since Saturday night. Authorities suspect that a vandal or vandals damaged two substations at Duke Power. Duke's, Duke Energy says that they are working around the clock right now to fix it, but it could take days yet until that is uh, all complete. The FBI has joined the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation in the case. The federal folks, uh, they deal with the domestic terrorism more than locals. Uh, so they're on board and, and they're working with us. Now I can say this, this individual that done this, it was targeted, it wasn't random. Moore County officials wouldn't confirm if this was indeed uh, domestic terrorism. They vowed, though, the matter will be resolved. Last night at the White House, President Biden welcomed the new class of the 45th Kennedy Center Honors. The 2022 honorees are George Clooney, Amy Grant, Gladys Knight, the rock band U2, and composer Tanya Leon. Tonight we celebrate a truly exceptional, and this is no, it's not an exaggeration, a truly exceptional group of artists. Group of artists. We embody the very spirit of we the people at this year's Kennedy Center honorees. They're all an incredible group of people. You can watch the broadcast of the Kennedy Center honors right here on CBS. They're scheduled for Tuesday, December 28th at 7 p.m. Central. 6.38 on your Monday morning. We're going to keep tracking the traffic for you on the morning commute and keep tracking some freezing drizzle that is moving across the viewing area. Some winter weather advisories out. We'll have the latest on that in just a moment. And all aboard the Holiday Express, where you can see this display with your family right here in Madison.
Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. Wells Fargo lets you know where you stand with your FICO credit score. What if you knew where you stood with everything? Like your future in-laws. Hope you like cats. Uh, I hope your parents like me. <laughs> They're whispering. The kid is like <laughs> Can they tell I'm allergic? Tears of joy. Welcome to the family. <sighs> like knowing where you stand? When it comes to your credit score, you can with Wells Fargo. Hey, are we gonna fit? Family Insurance, we're here to carefully protect your dreams. <laughs> All right, open your eyes. Oh. Welcome home. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you later. Save up to 23% when you bundle your home and auto insurance today. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. American Family Insurance. Fairlife brings more to your holiday traditions. It's ultra-filtered milk with 50% more protein, 50% less sugar, and a creamy taste. This season turned delicious into delicious. Fairlife ultra-filtered milk. Floor and decor, my go-to to get it all. Tile, wood, stone, and laminate, they've got it. Installation materials, yep, and all the tools I need, they've got those too. More importantly, they've got my back with benefits and services I actually want and a pro app that makes my job easier. Floor and decor just gets it. That means I get more done. At Floor and Decor, whether you're looking for everyday low pricing on in-stock job lock quantities and installation materials or a powerful partner to help take your business to the next level, we've got you covered. Discover Floor and Decor today. If you already know that a blend of tender, marbled Wagyu beef makes the best burger, good for you. Arby's Wagyu Steakhouse Burger is back. You beef genius? Arby's, we have the meat. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. A Madison mom says her special needs child was injured permanently when her school didn't follow a plan for her care. I knew that there was something very wrong. Now she's set to sue the Madison School District. If it was your child, would you feel comfortable? News 3 Now investigates tonight at 10. Celebrate a decade of thanks with us. At Geo's Garden Holiday Party. Live December 9th at Goodman Community Center and streaming worldwide. With fun and fundraising to help families of kids with special needs. Find all the details at geosgarden.org. News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back. Large-scale model trains have taken over the Ulrich Botanical Gardens. Cool. Yeah, the Holiday Express Flower and Model Train Show is back through the end of the month, with the exception of Christmas Day. The trains come from members of the Wisconsin Garden Railway Society who volunteer to show off their wide variety of model trains. The trains that are running today were my husband's trains and he passed away five years ago. So we found a family that loved trains and we gave all of our trains to that family. And they're here running today, so they're running. Every time I hear the whistle, I think of my husband and all the fun we had. Wisconsin Garden Railway Society has become another family for me. Admission to see the trains is eight bucks for adults, five dollars for kids six and older, children five and under, as well as Ulbrich Garden members can get in for free. Isn't that special? I love that oh, story. I'm sure Elaine's husband is just, would just be over the moon with uh, all the smiles on everybody's face, watching his train still in action. And love what kid doesn't it. love checking that out during love the holidays? I know, yeah. right? Okay, 6.43. Let's check in with uh, Greg Barnhart now on your first one weather. What do you have, Greg? Yeah, well, right now the precipitation, it looks like radar. You see a lot of it that actually looks like it's falling, but it's not. That's because it's still battling some dry air towards the surface. We're only in the 54% relative humidity in, in Madison right now. 60s, you need about to get some rain to reach the ground. Obviously, if you're 80 like decor, you're going to get that rainfall. So it is starting to road this away, but that is kind of limiting the factor of getting some of that to the ground. Um, but that's something we'll keep a track of. But overall, we got the rain today, snow today, 
snow tomorrow, then wet Thursday, Thursday, and Thursday night, and then maybe unsettled more Sunday or Monday of next week too. So active pattern. There's a lot of uncertainty yet in regards to precipitation type for the Thursday. Maybe we get some snow Thursday night, and if there's any travel impacts, a lot of it just depends on timing of this, and that's yet to be determined. Today we definitely do have some impacts. This morning it will transition to more rain or snow this afternoon as temperatures get up to the upper 30s. The front's going to come through. Not much of a cold air behind it, just a wind shift to the north, and then we have the next one coming tomorrow, late tomorrow morning, early afternoon. You'll start seeing that snow band rise through southern Wisconsin through tomorrow morning to tomorrow afternoon with maybe a changeover to some light rain. So that's a second one too and weak. Both systems are fairly weak. That'll set up for a nice actually Wednesday before we get into maybe another system Thursday. Here's the snow right now. We've actually had Bosqueville just reported rain. There are 32 degrees right now so that could be freezing at the surface. Some of those areas we'll see that once we get past 11 a.m. we'll be in the upper 30s. This will transition to mainly even and snow. Once the cold air gets behind it then it'll be either snow or rain at the surface. That That'll spread across the area this afternoon. That should exit by evening. Temperatures in the upper 30s. The wind shift will occur this evening. We should start seeing some clearer skies. And then towards tomorrow morning, like I said, after the commute time, we'll start seeing that next band come up of literally just snow as you get towards right there, towards Prairie du Chien, towards 8 or 9, and then it starts spreading eastward. Maybe some light snow accumulation on grassy surfaces. But notice the temperatures at this point, at least in southern Wisconsin, mid to upper 30s, so road temp should be fine. Maybe a little bit more of an issue as you go further north. North, but overall, this is still a weak system. Timing will be around noon to there afterwards, something to keep in mind of. But it sets up for a nice Wednesday. The bus stop forecast, we've kind of missed it. A few rain showers, really, that is for western areas, mainly for Dane County Eastern. You're probably not going to see it. It may see a little bit of rain or snow mix this afternoon. But notice the temperature is still mid to upper 30s, which is nice and comfortable as we get to the 10, uh, 10 day. Nice Wednesday system, Thursday, Friday, and maybe Sunday and beyond another one too. So active, but the one thing you'll notice, there are real no cold temperatures in that forecast either. Okay, thanks, Greg. 645 now. Losing a loved one is, of course, extremely difficult. It can be especially hard when the loss is considered traumatic. CBS's Danny Backus visited a place bereaved family members can go to give and receive connection, compassion, and understanding. On this 10-acre farm, just outside of Sedona, Arizona, horses, goats, cows, and other animals are helping people heal. I lost my newborn daughter in 1994, and there was no place for me to go. Arizona State University professor Dr. Joanne Cacciatore opened the Sella Care Farm five years ago. It's a one-of-a-kind refuge for the traumatically bereaved. Those who've lost a child, sibling, parent, or partner to homicide, suicide, an accident, or unexpected death. We teach people, you know, how to build the emotional and psychological strength to endure this. Memories of lives lost are throughout the farm. Silver medallions etched with their names. And these plaques give the people who come here permission to grieve. When you lose a child, people don't, people don't know what to say. Jill LaForte Carroll's daughter, Sierra, died seven years ago. All of a sudden, you're validated because these other people are having these same experiences. Visitors participate in grief counseling, yoga, and meditation. But Cacciatore feels the most transformative experiences happen in the field. Have you found that each animal provides a different level of comfort? All of our clients have a particular animal they bond with. All of the animals have been rescued from neglect or abuse. And I think a lot of them can feel my trauma too. A special connection. They don't think we should move on. They just accept who we are right now. Bringing hope and comfort to those who need it the most. Donya Vakis, CBS News, Cornville, Arizona. Dr. Joe says she's now teaching others how to replicate the care farm model so that they can be started across the country. It is 648 on your Monday. Coming up in the morning sprint, a Madison police officer doing court today as a defendant and laid off Twitter employer. employees are fighting back. If you got a little kiddo turning three soon, let us know so we can show their picture on TV. We'll be right back. Portion of News 3 Now is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Warren's, Wisconsin. Dress up your home for the holidays at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Add color and cheer to your home this holiday season with stylish seasonal decor during our holiday sale. Let us brighten your room with unique accessories and great savings during the holiday sale going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. 
Clean, safe, fun. I wanted it all when we needed daytime care for mom. Oh, Grace's new adult day center is so nice. Now she goes twice a week while I'm at work and loves it. A Grace, caring every step of the way. Garage doors do not like the cold weather at all. As soon as it gets cold springs, parts will burn. At Precision, we always come fully stocked. We're able to typically solve most garage door problems within a couple hours. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. A must in your medicine cabinet. Less sick days. Cold coming on? Zycam is the number one cold shortening brand. Highly recommended. Zycam's love Zycam's unique zinc formula. It shortens colds. Zycam zinc that cold. I was busy cash backing for the holidays with Chase Freedom Unlimited. I'm going to cash back on the gingerbread house. Oh, it's got little people inside. And a snow globe. Oh, I wish I lived in there. You know, I can't believe you lost another Kevin. It's a holiday tradition. That it is. Earn big time with Chase Freedom Unlimited. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. <laughs> for every holiday, for everyone. Ritz, a taste of welcome. I'm Rebecca, and you might know me from reality TV. And this was my stubborn body fat that I just couldn't get rid of. But then I went to Sonobello, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. It is so intensely gratifying for one visit to make this big of a change. It's amazing. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It feels incredible to look down and it's flat. Thank you again, Sonobello. I'm so happy. Schedule your free, no-obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-595-1532 or go to sonobello.com. Dress up your home for the holidays at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Add color and cheer to your home this holiday season with stylish seasonal decor during our holiday sale. Let us brighten your room with unique accessories and great savings during the holiday sale going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Call for action only on News 3 Now. 6.51, time for the morning sprint. A Madison police officer arrested for domestic abuse will have his first pretrial conference today. Carrie House was arrested on November 7th in Columbia County for allegedly choking a woman. According to court records, he was previously reprimanded for firing a gun while under the influence during a party at his house in Columbia County back in 2013. His current charges include a felony for the strangulation as well as two misdemeanors for battery and disorderly conduct. A group of laid off Twitter employees and their attorney Lisa Bloom are set to announce some new legal action against the company today. The tech giant now by Elon Musk abruptly laid off half of its workforce, close to 4,000 people about a month ago. Bloom says the new legal action will be the first filing of its kind in the Twitter layoff. The high court will hear oral arguments in a case involving a Colorado graphic designer who says she has a First Amendment right to refuse to create websites for same-sex weddings. This despite a state anti-discrimination law. It marks the second time in five years the Supreme Court has confronted a similar issue. A former Milwaukee County elections official now facing several election-related charges. 45-year-old Kimberly Zapata is being represented by an attorney from a conservative law firm that helped former state Supreme Court Justice Michael Gableman in his review of the 2020 election. Zapata is charged with misconduct in public office, which is a felony, as well as a few misdemeanor counts of making a false statement to obtain an absentee ballot. A mandatory curfew ordered for a North Carolina County about 30 miles from Fort Bragg. Authorities saying it's necessary after thousands of customers lost their electricity there. Here's why. Police say two substations were damaged by gunfire. The utility company says restoring power could take days. Badger quarterback Graham Mertz announcing he's going to enter the transfer portal. He's been the starting quarterback at UW since 2020. Uh, he has a couple of years of eligibility left. This past season, he completed just over 57% of his passes. 
In his post on social media, he thanked teammates and coaches at Wisconsin. Governor Evers is ordering a special election to fill the 8th Senate District vacancy after the retirement of Republican State Senator Alberta Darling. The election will be April 4th in conjunction with the 2023 spring election. If a primary is necessary, it'll be held on February 21st. Circulation of nomination papers for candidates started on Friday. Children's Wisconsin and the Medical College of Wisconsin are concerned about the lower rates of flu vaccination. With the holiday season coming up, uh, it's important to schedule your flu vaccine quickly if you want it to be uh, in effect by then. It takes a couple of weeks for the vaccine to take effect. There are some options for you to get your vaccine, including pharmacies, primary care offices, and community vaccine clinics. You can go to vaccines.gov if you're looking for a location near you. Soccer legend Pele is working to reassure fans about his health after reports that he's in hospice care due to colon cancer. Pele, now 82, led Brazil to three World Cup championships. On Instagram over the weekend, he said he's strong with a lot of hope. Meanwhile, at the World Cup, Brazil plays South Korea in a round of 16 in hopes of having another historic run at the tournament. Or young people are ditching booze for marijuana. That's according to a new study out this morning in the journal Clinical Toxicology. Over the last 20 years, cannabis abuse increased 245% among children 6 to 18, while alcohol use steadily declined. Researchers link the change to the rising popularity of edible cannabis. A very dark Christmas movie making a run at ending the box office reign of the Black Panther sequel. But Black Panther Wakanda Forever held off violent night for a fourth straight weekend. It grossed $17.6 million for a domestic total of $393.7 million. That's the third highest total of any film this year. Tickets go on sale today for the new Britney Spears inspired musical called once upon a one more time on Broadway. The show follows a book club of fairy tale characters who flip their own scripts after the fairy godmother assigns them to read the feminine mystique. Once upon a one more time opens on Broadway in June. Yeah, we got a winter weather advisory for Richland, Crawford, and Grand Counties right now. So some precipitation, freezing drizzle, Bosque Bell, Prairie Sheen reported unknown precip with this. So that's something to keep in mind. I have a lot of this over Madison's not reaching the ground, but we're tracking that for at least through 11 a.m. for that chance to see that freezing rain. Is a bigger picture, you can see it tracking now. Just a line of light snow. Eventually by this afternoon, it'll be more light snow, light rain will be more in the upper 30s. But this morning's really the critical time for any issues. Most of this does stay south of north of Madison and many areas to the south will just be cloud cover to speak of. So that's the things to know. I've mentioned we got that tomorrow too coming up with another round of snow and maybe we got something coming for Thursday, Thursday night. Okay, Greg Barnhart, thank you very much. We're going to keep an eye on your first warm weather folks all week long, but especially this morning might be some slick spots in southern Wisconsin. Stay with us. We're back in half an hour.